It's been a while since I made a uh, last tutorial. Today I want to talk a little more about uh, li Linux and Windows compatibility. I'm still using, as you can see, the Ubuntu uh, system, as it's very, in my opinion, it's very good and it has uh, very good uh, performance. I have, uh, I don't have any problems with it. So basic, basically what I would like to talk about is the applications and the programs that we use uh, every, every time, every day. So there are some applications on Windows and uh, in most cases we need uh, either Linux and also Windows on the same computer to be able, for example, to play some games, to use some business tools like Microsoft Office and so on. It's sometimes hard to switch between the two systems, so uh, so uh, there are some possibilities for the Linux system as well for for the Windows. One of them is virtualization and using VirtualBox, uh, for example, as a program where you can uh, create a virtual machine of the system, Linux or Windows within the second system. But sometimes it's very uh, risky and you need very strong and powerful machine to use it uh, to because it uses lots of RAM and so on. So what are, what are the other possibilities? For example, Wine. Wine is an emulator of the Windows uh, programs and it, it is created uh, basically for the Linux systems to be able to run all the applications or at least most of them uh, na natively in the Linux system. So where should we start? First of all we need to install again the, the package via the Ubuntu Software Center. So we put Wine here and there will be some packets to be installed by default by Ubuntu. Wine is uh, compatible with uh, many versions of Linux, for example OpenSUSE, Mandriva, Mint and so on. So this is not only for Ubuntu, I am showing it because I am using the Ubuntu. So as you can see when I wrote down Wine, you have the Wine Windows program loader and also what I suggest is to also install Wine Tricks. This will give you like a predefined uh, installations for the programs. So uh, as usual we install them by clicking on the install button. S same for the Wine Tricks. When, when we do it there will be a new application created in the application menu. As you can see I have it here, it's in Wine. So basically we can check what are the programs already installed uh, as a default Windows application. We can browse through the C drive because Wine creates a C drive, C drive very mm, similar to the normal Windows installation. We can configure Wine and of course use Wine tricks. Wine configuration uh, started up. So, as you can see already, there is like a w w Windows um, dem graphical. You can uh, check some settings uh, for advanced users and read about it more. I just want to show the possibilities, so I won't be talking on, uh, in the details about it. But you can map some drives, so 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 it will be working uh, similar as in Windows. You will have a uh, drive C and other partitions. You can check for the audio uh, settings and drivers that were uh, already installed on the systems and also the graphics and desktop integration. And on the application tab you've got the Windows version which you can change and adjust to the programs that you want to run. So this is Wine configuration. Then I will just show you uh, in a quick look, one of the applications that I was using uh, during the uh, use of Windows. So, uh, of course, I have the partition for Windows. This is Windows 7, which is not working very good for uh, netbooks. So I choose the uh, Linux system, but I still have some of the programs. As you can see, I went to the program files. I've got the alcohol, 
I've got some uh, Blue Connect, Broadcom and so on and I've got the CCleaner CCleaner was, was and is the application to clean the, pro the computer uh, your computer from uh, lots of uh, information and to clean your memory and your disk drive something like disk cleaning in uh, Windows so as you can see this is CCleaner Exer by right clicking on the uh, on the icon you've got open with Wine Windows Program Loader and when you choose this one the program should uh, be loaded and should work normally as it would work for uh, Windows applications and Windows system it will take some time so basically you can run lots of applications but you can ask a question as you can see it's, it it tries to log in it's it gives let's give it a some some time but as you can see this is cleaner and it, it shows that it's working on Microsoft Windows 7 <laughs> and it shows also in the Pentium 4 which is not true but this is uh, emulating of Windows you can see that it works normally and it gives the same uh, capabilities as in Microsoft Windows you will ask a question uh, what applications and what programs can I run so basically what you should go do is to go to uh, Wine web page in which you can check first of all all the documentations and uh, where the project is heading for and also we've got the application database when you go to the application database you can search for the program specific programs or you just can check what are the applications which run either platinum that are applications applications which install and run flawlessly and as you can see there are some games like Starcraft 1, Steam officially released, Team Fortress and so on there are some as of course The Sims 3 and Warcraft then we have a gold list that are the applications that need some specific uh, configuration but will work normally as you can see there is World of Warcraft and Starcraft 2 and then we've got also the silver list which have some minor issues but can be run normally uh, without uh, some some big and uh, big issues and differences so wha what you need to do is just to search for the application you are interested in not all of the application of course will run but you just take the browse app and then you just search <coughs> sorry you just search for example for Call of Duty and then it will show what is the status and what are the games as you can see there are even Modern Warfare 2 and it has uh, it has a gold um, rating which means that it needs some additional configuration but it will work I strongly strongly encourage you to check this because you can uh, for example play some games and but not only the games you can even run Microsoft Access and Microsoft uh, Office tools on the Linux so basically you, you in in some time you will not have to come back to Windows to run all the applications uh, yeah so so this is it uh, what I would suggest also to for the for, for the people who like to play games is that the Steam and Valve is working currently on a uh, Linux native uh, application and launcher uh, which will give you the possibility to run all the games that you bought and purchased uh, in the Steam uh, application uh, directly on the Linux uh, so basically this is it as you can see I'm running the new version of Opera 12 which has very nice functionalities I also strongly encourage you to to go and uh, download it download it and maybe switch from the Internet Explorer or Firefox as it gives pretty nice uh, effects and mm, also if you go to the Opera web page you can 
choose what kind of the background you want to have in the uh, in the application I choose the halo but there are very nice also different ones and try Linux and maybe like it and maybe start working on it and have fun with it see you around